What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I have for you all a pretty nostalgic Call of Duty Zombies video. Now, I'd like to start this video by saying I have been a huge Call of Duty fan ever since I was a little boy. I remember playing the very first COD, and every single year that went by, a new Call of Duty was released, and all of a sudden, 2008 rolled around, and Treyarch decided to release World at War. Now, up until then, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare had been my favorite COD, and then World at War came along and I absolutely fell in love with it. It was so much fun and I think you guys can agree with me, COD 5 was one of the best Call of Duties so again, I enjoyed it so so much and I really only played the campaign. I didn't know that I could play online with my friends through Xbox Live so again, I was playing the campaign all of a sudden, I finished all of the levels and I was super super bummed because I thought the game was over. Then, all of a sudden, after I finished that last level I found myself inside of this rundown building I looked outside, there was fog rolling across the hills, waited a couple seconds, and all of a sudden I heard some weird music, and zombies started to break into the building. Yes, that was the first ever zombies map, Nocturne on Toten. It scared me. It came out in 2008, I was 11 years old, and yes, I was very scared playing it because I had absolutely no idea what was going on or even what to do. Now again, as the months progressed, Treg decided to release DLCs every couple of months. They introduced Verruckt, Shinonuma, and Doris, and I absolutely fell in love with every single Zombies map. Now, when Black Ops 1 rolled around, we got Kino de Toten, and that Zombies map was so much fun, it really started to take a look at the storyline aspect of Zombies, considering we had all of the movie clips that we could insert into the movie reel when we went to pack-a-punch our weapons, and then it would showcase some of the storyline secrets on the movie projector at the front of the stage, so that was very exciting. Again, as the DLCs went on every single upcoming months, we've got Ascension, we've got Shangri-La, we've got Call of the Dead, Dead. We've got Moon. We have a ton of these crazy zombie maps that really seem to focus on the zombie storyline and myself and I'm sure all of you guys as well fell in love with these maps. We fell in love with the storyline and it was just so, so, so much fun. We were eager to see what Treyarch had up their sleeve for the next zombies map. Now Black Ops 2 rolls around and then we got Transit. We were introduced to a completely new set of characters which was a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed Transit just because I thought the bus system or the new transportation system was super super fun, super unique. I really really enjoyed playing it. Obviously Transit is not a fan favorite map but again it was fun. The next DLC we got Die Rise. The DLC after that we've got Mob of the Dead. Now that's going to be the main topic of discussion for today's video is Mob of the Dead because the day that I make this video, it is April 16th, 2016, and do you guys know what the anniversary of that is? The significance of that date is this. Three years ago, April 16th, 2013, the Uprising DLC in Black Ops 2 was released that contained Mob of the Dead. That means Mob of the Dead is three years old. It has been an absolute ride seeing the zombies storyline and the zombies maps themselves progress and just get grander and grander, but it's super, super weird to think that three years ago to this day, one of the best zombies maps was released to us. I absolutely loved Mob of the Dead. I had so, so much fun playing it. It could arguably be one of the scariest maps to ever come to zombies, of course. Verruckt from World at War and then recreated in Black Ops 1 was a very scary map, but at the same time, Mob of the Dead offered a completely different, eerie, gruesome vibe. Let me know your thoughts about that down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Mob of the Dead is one of the, if not the scariest map in the Zombies franchise? Again, let me know your thoughts about that down below. But as I said, it's just super, super awesome to think that three years ago to this date, Mob of the Dead was released, and then three days from now, we're going to be receiving the second Zombies map for Black Ops 3 Zombies, which is super exciting. Again, going back to Black Ops 2, after we received Mob of the Dead, we got Buried, and then we got Origins, which was an absolutely phenomenal map. Black Ops 3 Zombies rolls around, we had a remake of The Giant, we also had Shadows of Evil that introduced a brand new set of characters, and then we had Der Isendrock, which blew a lot of our minds in regards to the storyline, and as I said earlier, three days from now we have the upcoming Zitsubo Noshima Zombies map. I don't know about you guys, but I am very excited about that. I 
remember eight years ago playing Nocturne Toten, and now, five years later, we are playing Mob of the Dead. Three years after Mob of the Dead, we're about to play as Itsubu no Shima. Guys, that's it for today's video. Again, a pretty nostalgic video looking back on all of our zombies maps. I just wanted to talk to you guys about this because I thought today was a very appropriate day to do so being that it is the three-year anniversary of Mob of the Dead. Again, let me know your thoughts about this overall video and all of the zombies maps down in the comments section below. Make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe so you never miss a future zombies video uploaded here on my channel. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. And until next time, guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.